This is Nina from WAMDA. I'm sitting here chatting with Ravi and Brian of Duplays, a Dubai-based platform that connects people through sport. How are you guys? Yeah, we're good. Thanks. Great. Good to talk to you. Excellent. So tell me about how you got inspired to start Duplays in the first place. Um, why sports? Yeah, I think uh, you know we started almost uh, five years ago. Um, it was myself and, and Derv, who, who's not on this call, and and Brian joined us soon after, but the idea quite simply was, you know, we're all uh, people that moved here from, from the U.S. or from Canada or from different parts of the world, and we stopped playing organized activity, uh, and I think we realized that, you know, the older you get in life, or at least when you finish university, your network in ground with regards to sports starts to diminish, and, uh, and, and you struggle to play, play sports, so we decided to start a website called doplays.com with the main intention of being able to connect people to get back into organized activity. So, how have you built up your user base since you launched? We started with a couple of leagues only offering ultimate frisbee and, and football or soccer. And we just uh, kept on expanding in Dubai and then eventually to Abu Dhabi and more and more sports. So from two or three sports, now we offer about 15 different sports and we've got 35,000 members in the UAE. What were the primary ways that you enticed people to join? Yeah, initially it was uh, kind of a mixture, I guess, of, of low tech and high tech. Obviously, you know, Facebook and, and Google were, were quite great ways of getting the word out. But also back in the day, I remember, you know, going around and, and splitting kind of the different neighborhoods with Derv and, and printing out flyers and uh, and convincing shopkeepers to let them put put them up in their in their stores. Uh, you know, we printed out flyers as well. Um, radio, we've been really lucky. I think the cool thing about our business is because it's so social uh, and sport is uh, is a pretty unoffensive thing to promote. That, uh, that we've got a great uh, publicity and, and a great kind of response from from radio and, and some of the presenters actually that that uh, present here in Dubai and Abu Dhabi play in our basketball league and our in our women's netball league. So that's been pretty cool. And word of mouth has been the primary driver. People are so excited to discover us and to play sport and to be active that they tell all their friends and colleagues, and that's how we've grown the most. Cool. And um, what are your primary demographics? Like, who is mostly coming to play sports at Du Place in Dubai? You know, honestly, it's uh, 18 plus people that uh, have moved to the city, whether you're Emirati or expat. Uh, I think you struggle to play sport as you, you get older in life and, and you kind of establish yourselves and, uh, and start a new job. And so, uh, you know, the cool thing about I think Dubai and Abu Dhabi also is it's so multicultural. So we have all sorts of nationalities playing sport. And I mean, sample size one, if I was in Canada, I would never play cricket or netball. Uh, same with sort of Brian from the U.S. But here, uh, it's just so diverse. So you have all sorts of people and all sorts of nationalities, but on average, our members anywhere between the age of, I would say, you know, low twenties to, to mid thirties, just looking looking to meet others and, and to get back into the team sport and, and find players to play with. And one of the best parts of sport is that you're you're all playing together on the same sort of field, and it just brings people together from different backgrounds. And I think once we we actually looked at passports from our basketball league, and of the eighty players in the league, we had thirty different passports. And Dubai or New York City or London are, are kind of special cities where that can happen. Where there are that many people from different backgrounds, and then we're bringing them all together through sport, including Emiratis. It's Very cool. So now you guys are shifting into building up your online platform. Um, tell me about that pivot into becoming more of an online presence. So in the past few years, we've moved our web development in-house, and we've really focused on building Duplays as a platform to connect people who are passionate about playing sport. And now in our future release, we're going we're gonna to allow tools for people who want to organize sport. So we've developed a lot of tools for ourselves to organize sport efficiently, but we want to open up our website as a platform connecting those organizers or other, other smaller groups than us with people and with the user base of, of players, of people who want to play sport across as many sports as possible. So we want to truly be a platform for sport in the Middle East. So anyone can start up a group and, and put it on the Duplay site? Yep, yeah, across a number of different sports, pretty much any sport you can imagine, starting uh, within a few months, you will be able to post something and, and organize something, and there'll be different levels of whether payment's involved or not, but basically we really want to connect uh, organizers with, with players across different markets. And tell me about your plans to expand. Um, where are you expanding next, and how will you maintain brand consistency as you do that? Yes. So, I mean, I think as Brian mentioned before, we've grown here in the last four or five years and now have almost you know, 35,000 members. 
Um, one of our challenges is, okay, you know, we have a, a great business model that's worked well here in Abu Dhabi and Dubai. Um, can we scale and can we expand to different markets, which arguably will be a lot different uh, than Dubai. Uh, the one we're looking at right now is, is Riyadh, uh, having lived there for a lot of my childhood and, and Brian having played basketball in different tournaments there, we realized there's such a huge uh, youth and young adult Saudi population that are probably struggling to play organized activity uh, in Riyadh. And so one of the things we're doing now is we'll be setting up an office there and we'll be launching an Arabic version of our website to, to basically uh, yeah, bring more organized sport to, to the Saudi youth uh, and adults in, in Riyadh. Um, in terms of, of brand, uh, everything is pointing to our site, so uh, we can control at least the online experience by, by having a really slick online uh, Arabized site. Uh, in terms of the offline, kind of having people have a good experience, you know, that's up to us to kind of build in the systems and processes uh, and, you know, the templates such that when we're on the ground there, people have a good experience and, and they take advantage of the lessons that we've, we've learned here in Dubai to, to bring, you know, good sport to people. So. Cool. Do you have plans to go regional? Will I be able to start up a sport club, like a group in here in Beirut at some point? Or are you going to go global first? We're focused on the region primarily first. Um, and we want to uh, go to as many cities with our on-the-ground presence as possible. That, that makes sense for us. But in terms of the tools we'll provide from a website perspective, uh, <laughs> We're going to focus in the MENA region, and, and hopefully by this fall and winter, you'll have tools where you can organize sport in Bay. Yep, that's the goal. Very cool. Well, thanks so much for chatting with Wanda, you guys. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot.